Hello, thank you very much for watching this video. This is my very first RC airplane. It's an extra 300. I built it based on the plans available from rcpowers.com, but I chose my own power system. This is the top view of the airplane. As you can see, there's nothing much on the top. I chose to keep everything clean, uh, all the stuff underneath the airplane. This is the brushless outrunner motor. It has a 1600 kV rating and it is connected to I think uh, this is 8x4 uh, prop. And you can see this is a servo right here in the middle. That's the only thing which is showing on the top, top side. The other thing I would like to show you is I have a carbon fiber rod running on the fuselage from the front all the way almost all the way to the end. This does not this is not present in the original plants but I decided to add it. And uh, yeah, one thing more. This 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 thing is built with the Depron foam. It's not EPP, it's Depron. Okay, this is the backside view of the plane. As you can see, there's quite a bit of stuff here, all, clut all cluttered up. This is the brushless outrunner motor, as I, as I said before. It is 1600 kV, and I'm running it with the two cell LiPo battery. So it's providing 7.2 watts to it. The motor mount, I chose to build the shock absorbing mount that uh, that they present in rcpowers.com website the motor is connected to the speed controller which is 30 ampere speed controller from hobbyking.com the speed controller is connected to the battery and it's also providing the power to the receiver this is a 2.4 gigahertz receiver so it has very very huge range and it's a very very noise free interference free receiver this is a four channel airplane so i'm using f i've already used up four of the channels on the receiver one channel is as i said it's coming is going to the esc the other channel is going directly to the this servo which is responsible for the to control the ailerons and here are the ailerons as you can see and I have it connected to the ailerons via this thin pretty thin carbon fiber rod I hope this will work if not I'll have to change it with the thick wire as you can see it's connected to the other aileron as well and then here are two more servers to control the elevator and the rudder. So this servo controls the elevator as you can see and it's the servo itself is being controlled by the receiver you know and eventually from the transmitter with the user input or pilot's input and this other servo is connected to the rudder over here and the servo itself is also connected to the receiver this is my 2.4 gigahertz radio transmitter and it talks to this receiver over there and let's see if it is working so this this stick is supposed to control the ailerons and the pitch so if I turn it left right it's supposed to move the ailerons right here so let's see if it does that yeah look at that cool and the pitch 
it's supposed to control this the, the same stick is supposed to control the pitch if I move it forward and backwards so let's see do you hear this let's see what part is moving here it is so the pitch is moving and the left stick is for the throttle and the rudder so let's see if it moves the rudder I hear something let's see what's moving okay the rudder is moving look at the servo look at the servo how it's moving cool and just like that the rudder servo the camera strap is coming in we there we go and finally and most important well equally important is the Kim, throttle move the stick here okay. and my five year old son is gonna move it there we go move it here there we go Awesome. Turn it off. Good job. All right. So looks like all the power systems are working fine. So hopefully, I'll be able to fly it. So it's pretty simple. It just takes pretty long time to build, and I think it's mainly because it was my first. Uh, but here it is. It's ready. It's running. But I hope that it's gonna fly as well as well as I've seen other people flying it I hope so and hopefully I'll be able to make a video of flying this plane as well so stay tuned I'll be posting it on YouTube as well thank you